Hello, this is Kendra and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing some cards made with the Pink and Main October of 2024 Crafty Courtyard Kit called Big Bear. Now, I recently shared an unboxing video showing the contents of this kit and this is just basically a sped up version just to show you what all is in the kit in case you missed that video. But it includes some colored cardstock, some metallic cardstock, the zippered project pouch, plus this five and a half by eight and a half inch paper pack. And this is called Great Outdoors. There are 30 single sided sheets in 10 different designs. Plus you get this adorable stamp set here with three different bear images. It's got a stump with a jar of honey, plus a cute little fox, along with seven sentiments. And you also get the coordinating dies to cut out all of those bear images. And this month's kit also includes two additional die sets the little trees and also these mountain range dies plus you get an embossing folder this has got stars and then this exclusive confetti mix that comes that's in the color of the color palette so let's jump right in i always start by stamping a bunch of images and sentiments so that i have plenty of stuff to decorate my cards now, if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i like to make cards in bulk and i'm a fan of quick and easy cards so I'll be sharing a few tips on how to make this process go quicker. I stamp the images with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink onto a half sheet of Express Blended cardstock since it's Copic marker friendly and I'm using my Misty stamping platform. And since the stamps are brand new, I like to use my hands to try to remove some of the residue from manufacturing off of the stamps. And notice how I kept all of the stamps on one half of the cardstock. This is so that I can flip it over and get another set of images on the other half. And I repeated this process several times off camera. And I won't show all of the coloring for all of these stamped images, but I will show the different Copic marker combinations that I used for coloring one set of images. Now I have this sped up quite a bit. For this first bear, I'm using Copic marker colors E59, E57, E55 and E51 and I will put these up on the screen here. I started with the darkest colors for underneath the bear and for the shadows and then I came in with E57 right next to it and I'll be working my way up to the lighter shade as we get to the top of the bear. For the bear's belly I went with E51. Now if you have never watched Caitlin Anthony color she's with Caitlin Anna Lee cards and she does live streams twice a week over on the Pink and Main YouTube channel. You really don't know what you're missing out on. She is an amazing colorist, and I learned so much from her. I actually copied or tried to follow what she did with this bear on one of her recent live streams. So the um, only difference is I'm using different shades of brown. Now with each of these bears, I wanted to try different Copic marker color combinations. So for this next bear, I'm using E49, E47, and E44. And again, I'm starting with the darkest color, E49, and adding my shadows. And I'll, like I said, I'll have all of the colors listed up here on the screen in case you're interested. And while I color, I'll tell you more about the Crafty Courtyard Kit subscriptions. The monthly subscription kit base price is $34.99, and an automatic shipping charge is added based on your location. And if you want to receive a kit in the mail each month, you can join as a subscriber on the Pink and Main website. And what's great about being a subscriber is that you can receive 15% off other products in the store. And when you subscribe to the kits, it will be shipped around the 15th of the month. But you can still sign up and purchase through the end of the month unless it sells out. And your subscription will change to the next month's box on the 1st. You can also purchase some of these items individually in the pink and main store so if you're watching this video after the month of october of 2024 check those out now, if you'd like to subscribe i will have an affiliate link below in the description box and if you make a purchase using this link i earn a small commission at no extra cost to you and this helps to support my channel now for the jar of honey i used n0 yr24 and y15 and then for the fox, I used YR18, YR16, YR14. And then for the Y areas, I used E000. 
And then I didn't mention this earlier, but the the bird, the blue bird, and also the bear scarf, I used B26, B24, and B21. I added some pink cheeks just to make them a little bit more cutesy. Now I've really been trying to work on my coloring but some of my Copic markers are kind of dry, so I know that that does affect how it turns out. Um, that's one thing that I did learn from Caitlin. But um, after coloring all of the rest of the images off camera, I placed the coordinating dies on top of the one side, and I used some low-tack mint tape to hold them down. Now, I'm not going to mess with the sentiments for now, but I thought I might be able to cut this in half with my paper trimmer but some of the sentiments would get cut off if I did, so I just used my scissors instead. But after running this through the die cutting machine, I'm going to keep the dies taped to this cardstock to use as a template. And I just have to line up the images behind the dies and keep repeating this process until I am, have all of them cut out. Now I learned this tip from Jennifer McGuire a while back so I can't believe how much time this saves. So now that I have all of the images cut out I then cut out the sentiments using my paper trimmer. At least I tried to use my paper trimmer but for some I ended up having to use my scissors to fussy cut around some of the sentiments. But uh, next I selected some colored cardstock scraps to cut out the mountain range and the trees. And this is basically just to help create a scene on my card. And then I glued them all together so that everything is ready to go. Now for the snow on top of the mountain range, I used some white glitter cardstock. I'll be using a few card sketches from my current quarterly card challenge number 16 for a few of the cards that I'm showing today. If you're not familiar with my card challenge, I provide this free PDF printable that gives instructions on how to take six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper and cut it so that you can get 15 cards from those cut pieces. The cutting guide has measurements for each piece and there are circled numbers which indicate which sketch that that piece goes with and there are scissors which show where to make the cut first and there are cutting templates for each of the six papers and there are 15 card sketches. These are also color coded and this basically shows where each of the pieces go on the sketch and the sketches also have measurements on each of the pieces in case you don't want to make all 15 cards at once so like i said i'm using two of the sketches eight and nine for two of the cards i went ahead and cut the large square from the blue ombre stars paper and also a strip from the green plaid pattern from that pa paper pack and then i also cut a smaller strip from that uh green card stock it's called the park and i used a silver layer from my stash and i thought that the mountain range would be perfect to use with this paper to make a little scene and instead of using a circle like what's shown on the sketch i'm using the standing bear for the focal point and i also have some brown cord to make a bow now i wanted to mention that if you want to join in on the challenge you can create cards and share them on social media and have a chance to win a ton of prizes. There are over $1,000 worth of prizes that you can win. There are randomly selected winners each month, and you can have a chance to win a prize pack from Pink and Main, among other prizes from many different companies. And you can also have a chance to win a $25 gift certificate from Pink and Main at the end of the quarter. They have been so generous as a prize sponsor for several years now, and I want to thank them for their continuous support. To learn more about how to enter the challenge and how to download the free PDF printable, you can visit kendrascardchallenges.com and that will give you a link to my Patreon page, which you can join as a free member to be able to download the PDF. Now for this next card, I am following sketch number nine. And I'm also using this same blue pattern paper with the stars. And I have embossed that blue, that dark blue layer with the stars embossing folder. And I'm creating another scene, except this time I'm using the tree die cuts. Now what I love about this sketch is that there is plenty of room to showcase the beautiful pattern paper. But you can also 
add something to on top of the pattern paper or you can even put like a word die or something but you also get to pull in some of the other patterns using these little tiny banners here now you can use a punch like the corner of a square punch to cut out the little banner pieces but i like to use my scissors and i just cut a little slit up the center and then cut up from the corner to the top of that slit and i've been trying to keep most of my cards flat so that i can mail them without adding additional bulk but for this card i did decide to pop up the bear with some foam tape and pink and main sells this gigantic roll of foam tape and it's awesome i've had this for a while and i make a ton of cards so just know that this is available and i will put that link down in the description box below if you're interested now since pink and main has included five and a half by eight and a half inch pattern paper in their kits for the past few months and i know that they are printing paper in-house now i wanted to create some cutting templates for this size paper so that all of the pieces could be used without having any scraps left over this is what my quarterly challenges are all about but i created a two sheet wonder which shows how to cut two coordinating sheets of five and a half by eight and a half inch pattern paper and i also created a cutting guide for the layers to go along with it the cutting guide is for using an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of cardstock so with two halves of pattern paper and a sheet of cardstock my two sheet wonder file shows how to cut this to make eight cards i'm going to show the process of putting these cards together as a sneak peek but um, these are the patterns that i just kind of laid out together that i thought coordinated really well and for this video today i'm only going to show you one set of um, eight cards i won't be using all of these pattern papers but i just wanted to show you which ones i feel like would look good together with the different colored card stocks that come in the kit now you can make two real quick and easy cards using this printed scene pattern paper so that's what i'll be doing with this but um, i just wanted to mention that the two sheet wonder will be released on november 1st it is the bonus printable that i offer as a membership benefit of my patreon membership program and this is included at the five dollar ten dollar and twenty five dollar tiers so if you are interested in that you can visit my patreon page at um, patreon.com forward slash kendra's card challenges and then when you click on the membership tab you can read about all of the different benefits that are available as a paid patron but this is the first card and as you can see i'm just using the tree dies as well as the mountain range dies and the honeycomb pattern paper along with this cute little bear that's laying down and i'm just going to show putting together a few of these cards now one of the sketches that's included in this bonus printable makes four cards and then there's another sketch that makes two cards and then there's two additional sketches this is one of the sketches that you can make with one um, make one card with and um, I'm not going to show putting together the duplicate cards just to save on time but as you can see with this one to make this level I added some scrap I used a die cut that wasn't colored and I cut the top off so that I could make this level and I really like how this turned out but I'm going to put on some music as I show how to put together the um, Eight cards basically for this bonus printable.
Now here are two quick and easy cards that you can put together using that scene printed paper. And I'm also using some stitched banners from the Card Cut Essentials die number one. And basically you just layer this up, add your, your little critters <laughs> and put your sentiment across the middle there. So I'm not going to show uh, gluing this down because it's pretty self-explanatory, but here's two additional cards that literally took me no time at all. Now for these next few cards, I am using a stencil that is from a previous Crafty Courtyard kit. This has the hexagon, it's a hexagon stencil. And so I am going to be adding yellow ink to directly to the card base using this paper pouncer. And for this one, I'm only inking up half because I'm going to be covering up the other half with pattern paper. And then the second one here, I'm taping it down just to hold it in place and I'm inking up the whole thing. I plan on just adding a few things to the front of this card. And what I love about this paper pouncer is it really doesn't take much and you can get the whole thing covered in no time. Although I do have this sped up quite a bit. All right, so for this, I didn't even measure. I just literally cut that panel at an angle. And here I'm just going to trim off a quarter of an inch so that I can have a little bit of a white border um, on the left hand side. But I'm just gluing that down. And for the sentiment on this one, I'm using the Hello Word and Shadow die that's also from the Card Cut Essentials dies. And I'm also using a, uh, this, I guess this is a brown color, a brown Love from Lizzie peel off sticker uh, along the seam of that paper there. And just adding the little bear and a tree and another quick and easy card. I didn't pop any of this up with foam tape, so it'll be flat and easy to milk. And the light brown part of the hello sentiment was cut from the wood grain pattern paper. I'm just finishing this off with some of those confetti pieces. Now for this card here, I am using the other half of that pattern paper panel and have glued it onto a piece of construction card stock I'm using as the card base. And I had an extra a uh, stitched banner from a previous project that was cut from yellow and it matched this pattern paper so I just decided to add that in the top left corner. Now you see me playing around with the layout of this one. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the sentiment. I didn't like the white cutout <laughs> sentiment so I decided to just stamp the sentiment directly onto the card base. And this time I'm using some VersaFine Nocturne ink and the reason I usually go for that ink whenever I'm wanting to ink something up that could potentially get messed up if I need to ink it twice. I usually don't have any issues when I ink it up and stamp one time using that pigment ink. And I'm adding these confetti pieces um, from kind of going from left to right. I used the bigger ones and I felt like the card was missing something. So you see me putting them over on the banner and I didn't really like that either. And then I pulled out this tree and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. And so I ended up moving the sequins back and then I glued the tree down on the banner. And then after looking at it, I was like, uh, that's kind of weird that I have a tree <laughs> up in the banner, but I glued it down too late now, but I think that the bear and the fox are cute and I was able to use up the other half of that pattern paper. And then for my last card, you'll see me using the card base that I stenciled the entire front. And so I'm using another leftover piece of yellow card stock that was cut from the Card Cut Essentials dies. And I put some wood grain behind it. And I'm also using another hello sentiment at the bottom of this one. And I'm just going to put the, the bear that's laying down at the bottom of that circle and add some trees behind it just to make it stand out a little more. I felt like the color of the bear kind of blended in with that background or that pattern paper behind it. So I added some trees there to help break that up. And 
Here is another quick and easy card. Again, I'm finishing this off with some touch of gloss just to add some shine. And here is a quick look at all 15 cards that were made with the October of 2024 Crafty Courtyard Kit. I hope you like them. I think they turned out really cute. You'll have to let me know which card is your favorite down in the comments below. Please be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.